March 31st, 4.15 in the afternoon, going to visit a client. I'm on the freeway, stop and go traffic on I-45 near the woodlands, and all of a sudden I hear this screeching noise. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, someone's gonna get hit. Look in the rear view mirror, that's gonna be me. <laughs> and I got hit really hard. I had my seat belt on, I had my head back, I sit properly in the car, I use good ergonomics, and wham. So after the accident, and I had kept about three cars uh, links in front of me, so I had three uh, uh, car spaces between me and the next car, because it pushed me almost to hit the next car. But fortunately, I had a good space, so it was just my accident. Pulled over to the side, and the lady comes down to me, and she said, well, I, the first question I said, because I was pretty shook up, what happened? She said, well, I was distracted, and you, you stopped. I said, well, let's stop and go traffic. I said, why were you distracted? She said, well, I was on my cell phone. Like, hey, don't you understand? I'm on my cell phone. You know, that's why I was distracted. You can't be on your cell phone when you're driving. But most important, the lessons that I share with you today will help you be safer, and that modeling of that behavior will be done by your employees. And you'll have techniques and some ideas that maybe you didn't have before. Maybe I'll reinforce things you know. Maybe I'll share some things with you that you didn't know. A safety attitude is simply this. It's to recognize those things that can cause you an injury or an accident are an injury and accident to someone around you or a loved one. If you can't recognize it, how can you prevent it? Is it realistic to expect to have an accident-free job site? Now that's the question. Yes. Yes. yes, it is. It is. At one of the sites at DuPont, working 24 hours a day, 3,000 employees, we had no reportable accidents for over four years. I know it's possible. I've seen it. True video taken from the rough ceiling of a uh, cafe. This really happened. It's at 11.33 at night. That is not a recreation. What behaviors were involved in? I'm gonna share with you four behaviors that in my years of doing accident investigations were involved in 86% of those investigations. So four behaviors to look at. The first behavior to look at, complacency. And this is a question of the group. Can multitasking lead to accidents? Does taking shortcuts lead to accidents? Absolutely. Any kind of shortcut. We think we know how to do things if we've been there a while. At DuPont, we used to call them the dinosaurs because they could work and do things and take shortcuts, do things a little different and not get hurt, but they had 20 years behind them. The problem with the senior person, the experienced person, the dinosaur, is that the younger workers that don't have all that knowledge model the behavior. So you have to be very careful to help train and retrain your experienced people to do it the current way. Because if they do it the current way, all your younger workers will do it the current way and they'll model that behavior. Very important to get buy-in from your most senior people. Can texting or being on your cell phone cost you your life? Yes. yes. About two months ago, I was leaving where I live up in Conroe and as I was leaving on a two-lane street, one lane each way, all of a sudden this white Prius starts crossing the double yellow line and heading toward me. And, I'm going, and before I could even honk, I pull over to the ditch and I never saw her head like this the whole time. <laughs> These are real things and something that you want to share with your employees and yourself. Because if you don't answer the phone in the car and you don't text in the car, then hopefully they won't and they get to work and they get home safely. Focus distractions. What sort of distractions can get in the way of your employees at work? That's right, it's a hectic environment we work in. 
It's a hectic environment you work, especially in the kitchen. Small place, a lot of things going on. Fatigue. <laughs> Anyone you know? Okay. Can insufficient sleep and poor diet result in a lack of focus at work? How many? We, we agree with that? Yes. What's the most important meal of the day? Breakfast. Breakfast. And I put this up here. Does travel affect your internal circadian rhythm? Yes. Let's say you had to travel through a couple of time zones and you go to work immediately. Remember that your focus is going to be a little less. It's not going to be the same. Your employee comes back from a vacation and that vacation was in Florida or California where they've gone through several time zones. It's going to take them a few days before they get back to their normal focus, their normal circadian rhythm, the biological clock within us. Knowledge decay. Can keeping current prevent accidents and save lives? Yes. Keeping current and safety keeping current in their practices absolutely prevents accidents and can save lives. And can an employee doing a repetitive action lead to an erosion or relaxation of safety standards? Yes, because any time we do a repetitive action, that was one of the key things that we worked at day in and day out. We always said it doesn't matter how good you were yesterday, it's what today is. And we had people working around terrible things that one little sniff would do you in. But they've been there 20 years, so they thought they were immune. They weren't immune to it. Every day, they had to focus on safety, just like in your kitchen. It doesn't matter how safe you were yesterday. It's what today brings. You have to be safe every single day and every single hour. It has to be on your mind. And that's why I said that paradigm shift was so important, because we have to think about safety 24-7. Because if we're thinking about safety at home, and we model that when we drive to work, and we're safe at work, it's a core value. It takes a while to make that paradigm shift, that, ch that change from just thinking safety at work, thinking safety all the time. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Loomis.